Guys, wait a minute. I was just going to come on here and put on my wig so we can see what the little burgundy wig look like and stuff. But baby, let me tell you something. I just got through watching Tasha K's live stream with that crazy Tonio Tokyo, whatever her damn name is, honey. Because I, I saw her one time or maybe two times before and I'm like, I don't want to hear her. But when I tell you that woman, Tonio, Antonio Iglesias, whatever her damn name is, was so disrespectful towards Tasha, we got to talk about it. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do today is just put on a little bit of makeup and put my wig on so we can see what it look like with makeup. And we're going to talk about Tokyo Tony. And then we might even talk about what's that other nut job girl, the one that the super glued her head down with Gorilla Glue with her dumb ass. Honey, they, she ain't that dumb. That girl, the Gorilla Glue, the Gorilla Glue girl, she's not dumb. She did that all for money. That was a smart move, but it was just so crazy how she did it. But first, I couldn't even, guys, I got on so much foundation because... I was listening to Tasha and this crazy ass with her all them damn gap teeth in her head. Let me tell you something. I'm surprised Tasha let, let her slide. Tasha was very, very respectful. And I'm just really surprised that Tasha let her get off calling her bitch and telling her shut the fuck up and stuff. But Tasha hammered down on her ass finally. Well, her disrespectful ass. But uh, the whole conversation was about uh, Tokyo Tony talking about... Well, Tokyo Tony, if you don't know who she is, she's the mother of Black China. And she was just talking about her, uh, her, her daughter so bad, wishing she, you know, she died. She would, you know, wishing death on her and talking crazy about calling her hoes and escorts and shit. I said, Woo, who, what mama would do all that stuff? Girl, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't even know where I'm going with this. I don't even know where I'm going. I got my eyebrows on in my foundation. So what are we going to do next, girl? I don't even know. But baby... I'm surprised Tasha let her get get off that much, but then finally she she finally said something. So what are we gonna do first? Let's find some um, uh, let's find some uh, <laughs> let me put my eyeshadow on first, <laughs> girl. Hey, you know what? I wanted to do. You guys know I wanted to do commentary on my channel, and I got kind of nervous because I see how people go at each other so bad uh, on doing commentary. They dog each other off. They talking about folks. Honey, I just got through listening to what's that little guy named? Uh, the funky diva. He went off on um Michelle Brown, Michelle A T L E M Brown, calling her. Ooh, <laughs> oh God, I, I don't need to be talking. Talking about her because um, what's her name? Michelle Brown is running her yap trap, talking about him, and it's a whole mess. I thought commentary. I didn't do my research. I thought commentary was to just talk about just things in general that's going on in life. But uh, you got to have enough balls to talk about something. Because, honey, he's supposed to be on here talking about each other. And talking about people so bad. And calling, the, calling um, what's her name? Uh, Michelle. What's her name? Calling Michelle Atalian Brown. Uh, Gary Coleman. The little midget used to be on uh, <laughs> whatever that show was back in the day. I can't remember right now. I'm just so outdone. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm, I, I don't think I'm built. For commentary, if if I have to do all this, what they're going, what they're talking about, and getting insulted and throwing shade like that, maybe I'm not built for that. So, guys, that's why I haven't really been doing my, you know, Nessie got you lit show because I have, I didn't do my research, and I am kind of like pissed off at myself because my show, my my channel is really about natural hair and being, you know, mainly talking about um, positive stuff and a little bit of negative stuff. Baby, I did not know commentary was that damn negative. And I'm like, what did you not know? Maybe I didn't know and I just didn't pay attention. Because it was a trip. Now, listen to this old gappy tooth bitch talking to Tasha real crazy. I was like, she wouldn't have got that off on me. Now, I know I have a very, very small production compared to Tasha. And I, Tasha, you know, she's just trying to get, get, the, get the answers and get the conversation going. And the abuse that she had taken from that uh, crazy ass woman... <laughs> I don't know how she did it. And I probably would have hung up on that bitch a long time ago. You feel me? No, man. You wouldn't have got that one off. But like she said, as long as you're talking about her, uh, as long as you let her talk, she ha she, she she's going to just just keep on cr talking crazy. So I wanted to use my um, Melt Cosmetics um, stack tonight for my eyeshadow. And I don't even know how I'm going to put this eyeshadow on. Guys, I need to really think about if I want to do commentary. To make things interesting and y'all know my views are really really low because i'm not talking about stuff that's trendy and i'm not being negative enough and do i even want to risk my my integrity just to be negative do you have to really go through that to 
to get the to get the story uh tasha asked tokyo to turn you know turn off her she was playing tokyo was showing tokyo was playing a, a recorded uh audio that she had with her daughter and she disrespected her daughter so bad on her i'm like why would you want somebody to hear you talking crazy to your daughter for one thing just the utter just the disrespect is on 10 honey i'm gonna use the same brush this is this is my mac 504 brush i'm gonna use some of this bone color right here on my eyes so that the color can look really really pretty when i put it put it on there Tokyo was on the, you know, letting people hear how she talked to her own daughter. And then when Tasha told her, okay, that's enough. She said, okay, I'm going to turn it off. But she kept letting it play anyway. I mean, she talked to her. Don't you ain't my daughter? And she mentioned something about something just, just talking crazy. Like she's some type of, you know, you know, like a, like a bitch on the street, in my opinion. I'm like, who talks to the child like that? I don't know. Maybe I should just talk about the wig. I, I, cause I cannot, I can't even freaking function how a woman could talk so crazy to her child. Ain't no damn way that bitch got off that many, those many times. Then she hung up on Tasha, but Tasha said, "How do you even, how do you even get to the point where it's okay to just talk to your child and wish things like, girl, let me shut up. Maybe that's why I don't do commentary, cause I don't know what the f to say about it. Ooh, I'm cussing. Ooh, I'm cussing. I don't know what to say about that foolishness. I don't know. I, I may not be built for commentary, guys. I might be just sticking to." <laughs> What I've been doing for the last 10 years on here is just talking about old boring ass natural hair. Cause I don't want mm -mm. Then you got the Gorilla Glue girl on her. She trying to sue Gorilla Glue because her dumb ass and so called put that stuff in her hair. I hope you know what? You know that stuff is all fake. I've been listening to um lovely um lovely T and her commentary about it and and, and she ain't lying either, baby. Because when I first saw the the video of this child putting this stuff in her hair with her 40 year old ass. I said, is she for real or is she not for real? And I just went on and click past it. You know, I went on and started looking at other stuff. Because I'm like, girl, I know you ain't that damn dumb. You put that in your hair. I did not know the video was going to go viral like it did. Mm, girl, what? I need some lip gloss on my lips. I did not know that video was going to go viral of her putting Gorilla Glue in her hair. What she going to do next? Put Gorilla Glue up your everything else? Mm. <laughs> These people today who would do anything for the fame, honey. And I don't even watch like reality shows anymore too much. Uh, lately, I've been trying to watch. I'm gonna put this color right here on her. Lately, I've been trying to watch the the uh, Bell Collector Collectives, and they be they just attack. Is that what this is today? Attack and throw out insults and stuff. Cause I don't know if I want to be a part of it, or maybe I should be. Maybe I should get into it. I don't know, guys. So I'm just gonna put this color right here. I love this color. I don't know what color it is. It's just a color I like. Kind of purplish. But um, it doesn't really make any sense how people can be so disrespectful towards people. Don't care about nothing. And I have been watching T.S. Madison lately. He makes me laugh. He's always been funny to me. <laughs> funny to me. And I can't wait for his show to come out next month so I can see what's going on with him. And honey, he be on there just a talking too, but... I don't really see him in too too much drama but i was watching that show with him and kia was on a couple of years ago that was funny and they then they didn't fell out and so i can be like you know other youtubers that talk about friendly or stuff but you, we all know everybody like that old dramatic negative stuff to talk about or to listen to i have been enjoying my time um off youtube i've been with friends and family and stuff this looks so wrong I've been hanging out with friends and family. Of course, I have my mask on. And uh, not 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 too many friends and family at one time. Although I did go to a funeral yesterday. My uh, older brother, my real brother, he passed away uh, a few weeks ago. So I went to that funeral and I sat away from the family. And his mom said, come on over here and sit down. I was like, mm. it was just so many people clustered up. And I'm like, I don't want to sit that close. And not because of the uh, C-19, it's mainly because I have anxiety sometimes. I have, I'll have an anxiety attack if I see too many people or too much traffic because I've been driving a bus for so many years. And I don't know if it's, if it's trauma, but I, sometimes I'll be like, I, I can't do all these people, especially since I've been off work. I have not been around a lot of people. So I didn't want to sit, sit around a lot of people at the funeral because of the C word and because it's just too 
close. The funeral was, was nice. Now, you probably say, well, Nancy, how, did, how does a funeral get to be nice? I don't know. It was nice. It was very, very, very pleasant. And everybody was very respectful. And it was sad at the same time, but it was a nice, nice experience. So yesterday I was so drained because I went to bed late, had to get up early to go to the funeral. And uh, I was extremely tired, so I couldn't even keep my eyes straight. But it's been nice to just be off from front of this camera for a minute. And now I feel refreshed. But honey, as soon as I clicked on the, to watch Tasha, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? So uh, I need a brush. I need a brush. I'm going to use this brush here. I don't know what this brush is. I've had it for years. Uh, I'm going to use what color? I'm going to use this color right here. Put a little bit on my eyelid. You know what? I should blacken it. I should make it darker. That's what I should have done. I should have made it darker. Maybe I'll put the black on top of it. And I've been exercising and uh, the sun been out a little bit, but not much. So I've been managed to keep, I've been managing to keep my spirits up just from exercising and getting out this house and meet, being around humanoids for a little while. I suppose I went out tonight, tonight too to a dinner uh, party but I didn't really know. I didn't feel like them. I just didn't feel like that. Usually if I go out and eat, it's usually with one person. But this would have been like maybe six or seven people at one table. Mm, mm -mm. I didn't want to do that. But baby, yeah, if I got to do commentary, it's going to require all that negativity. No, ma'am. And then um, Lovely T was talking about how, you know, when she says she doesn't believe some of these stupid lies, such as Gorilla Glue Girl. How they be coming out with these old crazy ass scandals and stuff. She said she don't, you know, she said, I don't believe none of that crap. They come after, people come after her and say, you know, call her names and try to dig up dirt about her. And it's just a whole thing. And I'm like, Nancy, are you ready for that? I don't know if I'm ready. And I got some things in my closet. No, I don't. <laughs> but yeah, we all got a story. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Well, who knows? Maybe I will get enough balls and get on her and say, yeah, you see this? It is, you know, they don't say bitch. Well, maybe Funky Diva do. He he talked about uh, Michelle Brown's vagina and everything, and they they called him some kind of crackhead with the ashy lips. I'm like, damn, they go in. They be going in on these live stream, baby. I'm like, oh. And I do have, I can I can have a potty mouth, but I don't know if I want to do it for that. Mm. -hmm. So that's why I've really been doing my shows. I've been keeping it very, very simple. But honey, my shows are boring compared to these little young people. And they doing it. They doing it well. I, I, I admire, admire them. I admire Tasha. And I admire uh, Lovely T. And I admire uh, Funky Diva. Honey, he know he a whole mess. He be cracking me up though. I don't really follow him. And I just started following um, Tasha K recently. Because I'm just trying to learn and listen and see what's going on. For one thing, I'm not into celebrities. So, I, I, um, she keeps me kind of like posted on celebrities and what's going on with them. And um, I love the way uh, Lovely T speaks. She, she has, <laughs> she, she speaks so cute. And she's cute too. So, uh, so I, I have, I, I've always followed her on and off throughout the years. And, I, I, and if I want to hear, if I feel like hearing some uh, funny commentary or some craziness, uh, definitely the diva, funky diva, because honey, he he will keep you entertained, and he's real intelligent. All these all these young people, they're very intelligent, but honey, the, the delivery that they be having, honey, I'm like, oh, I don't think I'm ready for that. So I said, well, Nezzy, what do you think you might be ready to do as far as your commentary? Because uh, you gotta have some balls about something. You gotta say stuff. You gotta step out the box, out your comfort zone, and you can't be Miss Goody Two Shoes on there. The thing is, when people start talking, when you start talking about folks, you best believe they're going to come start talking about you. They're going to come start talking about you and what you was going on with your life and your little hidden secrets and stuff. And that damn Wendy Williams, honey, I can't believe after watching, I, I didn't watch her, uh, what's that one show? I didn't watch her, uh, the, the actual television show, but I did watch the, when she actually talked about how Kelvin, uh, when she was talking about it live, not live, but the interview, like, I did watch that. So I guess that's a documentary. I did watch that for a little, about, a little while, and I did not know that that guy was treating her that way. And, and as much shit she talk about folks on her show, I'm surprised she even her 
Oh, you got a trap. I said, Wendy Williams. No, you did not. All this shit talk you've been doing all these years. And you've been getting dog walk. You've been taking for a dog walk in the park, baby. And like, that's what I'm saying. When you talk about folks and you expose them, people can come back to you and expose you on stuff you've been doing in your life, right? So I don't really have a lot going on in my life that I'm afraid to, you know, to talk about something. But or, you got to be ready. And for Wendy to be on here talking all these years, you know, oh, 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 oh. girl, your ass here, please. And his old lousy ass. Oh, this is a, just some pink, pink blush right here. I don't know why I'm using this right here, but his lousy ass, you know, screwing that girl around the corner and you, taking this girl places and, you know, in Wendy's car, using Wendy's money and stuff. Baby, please. So. That's the thing about commentary. When you talk about people, are you ready for the backlash? Are you ready for people to start talking about you? And I don't know if I'm ready for that, guys. You know, people still talk about me regardless, but still, I don't know. You, sh I ain't ready. Mm -mm. I'm just putting this blush on because I don't know what else to do. <laughs> this makeup is not going to be right it always don't look right in the beginning but if you just keep on and keep on eventually it'll look right and if it doesn't look right who cares i'm just throwing on some makeup a little bit just to uh so my wig don't look too crazy and i and i can't even concentrate because i after tokyo baby her disrespectful ass she's talking about she got she, you know she just got snatched out of a phone booth and these guys this guy kidnapped her and, and took her down to the dungeon and gave her the d for three hours Brutal, brutally, brutally, and you talk crazy to your child. I don't like that. What? I don't like that she did that. I don't like that. And then you hang up because you can't. You 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 ain't you you're not able to dominate. I can't imagine living in the house over no damn Tokyo. I can't imagine because she 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 caught some hands a couple of times, honey, with that mouth. And she talking about she beat she beat men up and. You didn't beat that man up and took you to the to the to the dungeon place and, and gave you the three for three hours gave you the D for three hours. You ain't that damn tough. Man, bitch, please. But like I said, I think I've seen her just maybe one or two times. And the other times I've seen her like through passing. And I knew I didn't like her. She is a nut job. I don't like this makeup. But who cares? We just gonna just put on some makeup just to say, hey, we got on some makeup. Yeah, she, mm-mm, mm-mm, I don't like her. I ain't never liked her, just from the two times I did see her. But honey, Natasha did talk about her teeth <laughs> last week, said, when you gonna do some, she, she, she's always talking about Tokyo's teeth. I'm surprised she didn't say that about her teeth on the show. <laughs> oh, girl, Nezzy, you ain't ready, so, but. Uh, another reason why I haven't really been doing commentary because I don't really have anything to talk about. I'm not interested in celebrities. I'm not interested in things going on in the world. Like, how you going to have a show? You ain't interested in nothing. But I don't know, guys. It's a trip. It's a trip being a YouTuber, and it's a trip trying to figure out what the hell to talk about to keep your audience interested. What am I looking for? I'm just going to, I'm looking for like a a cream base to go on my, under my eyebrow bone. Uh, you got to have something to talk about if you're a YouTuber. And I think with, with me is the reason why I don't have anything to talk about because I've just kind of like been kind of like fading out the uh, fading out from my I don't know. Uh, it's, it feels like I said before, it feels like my time is up on this, you know, on YouTube. And I think in my mind, I'm saying, well, you know what? You shouldn't be on her no way because you should have been gone. You ain't got nothing to talk about because you you're done. You are done. But I'm only done if I, you know, if I keep believing I'm done. If I got to go through all that kind of stuff, though, I don't know. Maybe I am done. So I'm just putting, this is my um, Too Faced Chocolate Bar. It still smells like chocolate. Just putting it under my eyebrow bone. Just a little bit. Choo -hoo -hoo. All this T.I. and a tiny business. And, the, and then when Tony said that Tasha K was from the Illuminati and she hung out with them, I was like, what? <laughs> this bitch is crazy. She'll say anything to throw throw uh throw the conversation off and basically win and long as she cussing and clowning and stuff 
She sounds she about to have a damn heart attack. As long as she cussing and clowning, she thinks she winning. But girl, I'm surprised. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna keep that to myself. You talk all that smack. You ain't got none of your damn teeth fixed. What? You, what? Girl, no, no, no. The disrespect is real as a commentary person. Uh, what are we gonna go with this? I don't like this makeup, but it'll look better once I put on some some eyeliner. Let's find some eyeliner. Let me put on some black eyeliner. All right, quick. You know what? I don't like my uh, I don't like my eyeshadow. So where is I want some black eyeshadow? Do I got a black in here. I should have a black in this. Oh, and this is this is she's ready to party. Whatever this damn thing is, my milk cosmetics. I think I got a black in here. Eh. No, it's not black. So yeah, guys, uh, let me know. Do you all like commentary shows? Do you all actually listen to podcasts? Do you all call in and talk to the interviewer people? Well, the podcast person who's hosting the show. What are your thoughts about some of these podcast shows? Because honey, they know they be cracking me up. I just got into podcasting recently. So yeah, I'm just putting a little black on right here just to smoke it out a little bit because it's looking pretty boring up here. Pretty, pretty boring. But you know what? Going back to the going back to the Gorilla Glue Girl, I'm wondering. Well, you know what? She her her Instagram has shot to the roof she's almost at a million subscribers already just within these last few days and i'm like are people like really expecting her to continue to put the gorilla glue in her head which we don't really think you know i don't really think that was gorilla glue all that stuff is that she's doing is fake it looks fake i didn't really get into what was going on until um you know when i saw i listened to lovely t's um podcast tonight on youtube and when 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 lovely t pulled out the receipts and did some investigating her girls got you know they did some investigating some research to see what's going on that they, they, they got they got some really good points that lady is faking the funk trying to win some money and i hope you know what I, that's the that's that's the defamation of character defamation i really do hope that she doesn't win any money and i really do hope because she's 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 trying to sue uh Sue the Gorilla Glue, glue people. I hope she doesn't win anything. I hope she loses everything for being dishonest. Cause you are just so damn crazy. That is such a lie. Oh, that is a lie, honey. Just crazy. Just crazy. These folks do anything for money. I, I mean, I, I must be on a slow bus. Maybe I need to start doing anything for money too. I need to. I need to pay attention to these young folks because they know how to get money. They know how to get fame. They know how to get it in. And maybe I'm I'm just slow. I'm slow. Or maybe I'm oh girl. I just need to do something. I got a whole mess. I, <laughs> I messed up my face. This is why I like to put my um, foundation on uh, last. But whatever, whatever. Where is my um? Here it is. I'm just using my foundation brush to get that off right there. So I need to blend this out. Blend this out, 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 out. Yeah, I hope she doesn't win that one red cent, and she's she's getting money from um, what's it called? Uh, GoFundMe. People actually believe this dumb cow. Well, or is she dumb? She ain't dumb. She she's playing the game. I didn't think it was that serious until she went viral. I'm like, these people really believe her. They really believe her? Go fund me. She raising all this money to get that stuff out of her. And... No, ma'am. So I'm going to take some. Take a little bit of powder here. Just go across my face like that. Just like that. This is Anastasia uh, bronzing powder. I need some more uh, concealer around my eyes. I don't know why I say I'm going to do makeup on my channel because I don't do a good job because I'll be distracted. Distracted. And this is some 
foundation powder setting powder so i'm just gonna put that around somewhere girl somewhere up under the rainbow somewhere under the rainbow yeah i heard that uh the supreme lady that uh echo what is this what's the name of the supreme that died today sorry i'm not sure what is the the supreme that echo who died today i know about three celebrities who died today they are rajiv kapoor marilena and saldi and valeria gajelov who echo who died yesterday I know about a number of notable people who died on February 8th, 2021, including Mary Wilson, yeah. Anthony Soule, Marty Schottenheimer, and Jean-Claude Carrier. That's right, Mary Wilson. She died yesterday. I thought it was today. Or was it, did I find out yesterday and, and forgot it was, I don't know. Mary Wilson died yesterday. That's, that's very, very sad and unfortunate. So I just put on some foundation powder on top of everything. I probably need need to lighten this up some more but i don't really feel like putting on, putting on any more concealer so i'm just gonna put some banana powder under my eyes just to brighten it up a bit just to brighten it up a bit it is like 14 degrees here in st louis uh it's cold that's why i didn't go out tonight to the party i didn't feel like going downtown no cold weather you know everybody knows downtown as well in st louis Downtown is way colder because it's very, very close to the river. And I didn't feel like being cold tonight. I didn't feel like leaving my house today. I wanted to be in my house doing my own thing. How does this look? It looks wrong. I don't care. Guys, you can put makeup on so wrong as long as you blend it out right. <laughs> as long as you blend it. It'll look like you just really put a lot of effort into your makeup. Because it's like 9.49. I'm finna go to bed anyway. So I'm going to take some of this Lancome blush. I don't know the name of it. But it's a pretty, pretty, pretty red color. Like that. Put it on the balls of my cheek. Right here. Just like they do on television. Just put it on the cheek. Now, I don't like the way my eyebrows look, so I'm going to use a little bit of burgundy colored eye mascara. This is my first time using it. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my eyebrows. This is what it looks like. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, I messed up. Take your time, baby. Take your time, do it right. You can do it, baby. Now this is so, that my eyebrows don't look so starkly dark compared to that hair because y'all know that hair is purple i like to to brush my eyebrows up that way they look like they doing something because my eyebrows will naturally go over to the side on their own this way it'll ensure that they'll stay like that. You probably say, well, Nancy, why don't you use black? That is so boring. Why would you just use black eyebrows, black eyebrows against burgundy or purple colored hair? And I still don't like this still ain't this still ain't popping enough for me. This still ain't. So we, we might do something else to make these eyebrows pop off some more. Why not, girl? Why not have some fun with your eyebrows? All right, all right, all right, all right. I add a little bit of red right there. I gotta do this one like that too. A little bit of red right there. Baby, we can do it. Take your time doing right. We can do it, bing, bam. So I'm going to put on some mascara. Just a little bit, just a touch of love, a little bit. It's just a touch of love. Can we spend some time? I don't love, I don't know if I like this red blush. I think I want to go a little bit more purple. Purple. So I'm going to use my 
Urban Decay Purple. Girl, that's just too much. So what? That'd be too much. And you know what? Another thing, I haven't, I haven't really been following Black China, and I know she had a baby by Rob Kardashian, and and um, Tokyo said she's gonna put the hammer down on Chloe when she see her girl. If you're gonna sit your old ass down, she's talking. She's 49 years old, and she older than Tasha and all this other bull crap. Girl, somebody gonna whoop you. It's your disrespectful. But go sit down somewhere. It is, does it really take that much to just just to be a human? Mm -hmm. it, don't, it don't take all that. You're making a mess, girl. So I'm going to throw on some oil. Uh, this is this is the Anastasia Moonchild glow. I'm gonna throw on some glow. I'm gonna throw on some glow. Purple. Yeah. This is this is the purple horseshoe. I challenge you to a game of horseshoes. A game of horseshoes. Rosie Alibaba. I challenge you to. Hey, oh, look at that, girl. If I turn these lights off, it'll get real glowy right here. I, I hunted this down because this has sold out when it first came out. I found it on Amazon. You remember I was telling you that sometimes if you really want something, you'll pay the extra money to uh, to get it. If you see it and you know it's overpriced, this was it. This was well overpriced. I paid like $75 for something that only cost like 40 some, 30, 40 some dollars at the time. But I wanted it and I couldn't find it nowhere else. And I got it. They know they ripped me off. They ripped me off good too. That's okay. I let them rip me off. At the time I was working, so every once in a while I'll let you rip me off. If I want something, I'll pay for it. That was really a rip off. You know what? I'll call them up right now. And call the seller up and say, you know, you play too damn much for, for ripping me off like that. Rip, 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 ripping me off. I'm gonna take a hand wipe and wipe off my hands, cause you know makeup is so freaking. Missing. We got to put them lashes on. So guys, you already know I hate putting on lashes because it just takes so much time. All right, so let's find some lipstick to put on today. What color I want to put on? I think I'm going to do two today. This is by Too Faced Melted Matte. It's a red wine color. I'm going to put this on first. So I got the burgundy on. I'm going to put this pink on top probably should use something that will not mess up my brush that's not working it won't fit if it doesn't fit you must have quit so yeah as you can see I use the um, burgundy color first as a liner oh feel then I'm gonna put my favorite purple one by wet and wild is this right how does this look all right so this is the time I go through all my makeup and see if I need to fix something and I do think I see something wrong oh whatever it might be a vein. All right, guys. So we got on the makeup so far. Um, let's see. One more thing. I told, you I, I told you I had one more trick up my sleeve. So I'm thinking about taking this color here and put it on my eyebrows a little bit. So let's see what that does. Or I may just take this brush right here that I use my lipstick with. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to use the excess lipstick off this brush. How does that look? It looks okay. That looks okay. All right, and I want to do something right here. I'm gonna take this blush and go over this part right here a little bit. Or do I want to do that? No, I'm gonna leave it alone because I can. I can put makeup on all night. Just go, 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 go. So let me go get the wig. All right, guys, so I got on the wig and let's brush it out and see what happens. Come on, little microphone. Stay with me, microphone. Ouch. Still too, 
too tall on the top. I like for my wigs to lay flat in the top because I don't like looking like no freaking cone head. These wigs will have you looking like a cone head. All right. This wig is so pretty. I wish it was a little bit kinkier. Just a little bit. But it is so pretty. It's so silky and so smooth. Smooth and silky. The curls are just gorgeous. You can come and you can brush it this way, you can brush it that way. No matter how you brush it, it's going to look so pretty. The curls are so pretty. I like that you can't really see my kinky hair. So make sure it's flat. How does that look? That's pretty than a mug, ain't it? That's pretty than a mug. I'm going to make sure I take care of this mask. <laughs> mask. I'm going to make sure I take care of this wig because I may not be able to find another one. Hmm. I know I ain't gonna be able to find another one like this because I couldn't even find it on uh, online anywhere because those um, the beauty supply people did not have my wig in the correct package. They know they play too much. Guys, look at that. Ain't that pretty? So I got on a cute top. Let me scoot back so you guys can see. Push you back too. No matter how you finger, I mean, no matter how much you play with it, the curls just always seem to just do their own thing, and it, it just looks so pretty. Now, all I, so guys, this is what my meatless Valentine's Day is gonna look like. <sighs> <sighs> do I need on some earrings? Like, why do I need on earrings when you can't see them? This make you feel like Jessica Rabbit. For those who don't know who Jessica Rabbit is, girl, look it up. She's a sexy cartoon. Look at that feather. That's a feather. That's a feather. Gotta make you keep it together. Yeah, guys. This is what we're working with. So, I'm going to throw on some earrings because these are... I'm going to throw on some earrings because these are the closest ones near me. All right, guys, so that is it with this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's something different. We're playing with color. This is what I'm going to do on Valentine's Day. I'm going to be having this wig on, this makeup on, and I'm just going to be butt naked with my own chocolate strawberries, living a meatless free life. You know what I'm saying? No headaches, no nothing. Just... <sighs> mm. All right, guys, so if you like... <laughs> this cone bring it down some more bring it down some more bring the yeah maybe I should have brought the yeah yeah if I bring the wig back some more you want to have this cone so if I really wanted my hair to stay in one spot I can get some hairspray and spray this right here in the front so that it can stay out of my face but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to mess up my wig. This instant, this is synthetic, and I don't want to mess it up. Bring this, some, bring this some more. Over. I want this to be fuller, more on this side. Ain't this pretty? Mmm. 
but no matter how much I make it full it tends to scrunch up some more anyway all right pretty 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 all right guys so I hope you enjoyed this video because I am feeling myself I could bring it back up forward but every time yeah, let me bring it back forward because I don't like them nappy edges so much it's one thing about nappy hair is your hair just stay nappy on every occasion honey I don't want the naps to show through with this wig I like it like this but however I do it, it's still gonna be cute all right guys so I hope you enjoyed this video if so make sure you thumbs up subscribe share comments and let me know what you think about these crazy times with this commentary stuff and I was probably really 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 see you real soon in the next video y'all like these eyebrows though you can't tell me these eyebrows ain't pretty though guys if you got if you got some different colored hair you can always wear, wear your eyebrows to match and I like that this has a black base it doesn't look so starky 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 girl Maybe want to put on some glitter. I, sh I should have put some glitter over here, but I'm finna go to bed. Who cares? All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <coughs> All right, guys. So I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Bye. <coughs> guys, you know what? I should pretend like my microphone is, you know, a uh, egg, a egg plant. I, I should wear my purple hair with my microphone and pretend like my microphone is the same, you know, the same color, the same thing as eggplant and just go to town. Just sit the licky licky with a sticky sticky. Girl, why did I say that? Why did I say that though? Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Get out of my mouth. I don't need that in my mouth. I need my, I need my eggplant in my mouth. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>